Hello guys, welcome to GTV Presence Tech View, another episode. And this, um, in this episode, I will show you guys actually uh, how you can get BMR certification. So BMR certification means a BMR has the associate certification and also the professional certification and also pro certification. But uh, in this episode, I will talk about the professional certification. Um, you can directly go for the professional certification because there is no requirement. You have to have associate, then you have to do the professional. So I'll show you step by step how a professional certified. Um, uh, what you can do, like if you are confused, like if you're confused actually, uh, which certification you, you, should, you should take, right? So you don't know any certification. You don't have any idea about the BMR certification. But only thing I'm, I mentioned already, which is BMR professional certification. And under BMR professional certification, there is a lot of certification like um, DCB, data center virtualization, cloud, uh, NS, NSX, uh, be realized automation, um, like a lot of, lot of certification under professional certification. So which one are you supposed to take first? So I will highly recommend you, if you don't have any one of them, at least take VMware professional certification, uh, DCV, data center virtualization. So I'm going to show you, and also if you're confused how to find out, just open your browser, go like, when, like go to the Google, and type BMR certification path, hit enter, and then you're gonna get the, some link. And you see here Broadcom. So actually I already opened some. I'm going to delete all of them. Okay, so BMR certification path, first one I'm going to open and then the Delson version I'm going to open it. And also the cloud certification. So there's a lot of certification path. The first one is certification, certification uh, BMR certification data center virtualization, you see here, data center virtualization, all <clears throat> um, carrier So when you ex click carrier certifications under the data center virtualization, which is called DCV. Um, so you're gonna see BMR certified technical associate, professional data center virtualization, BMR cloud foundation, BSphere foundation administration, BMR cloud foundation architect, professional data center virtualization design, version deploy, so multiple types of uh, professional certification, right? And special and skill certifications is BMR Cloud. This is a special, like a special and skill level, high level. So you don't need to do all those things. And you like the first recommendation is do at least this one, BMR certified professional data center virtualization, this one. And also you can see here network virtualization, you can take a professional certification on network virtualization, which is NSX. Uh, if you click here, you're gonna see network version 2024, network version 2024. Uh, this is associate, this one is professional, and then it's advanced level and expert level. And the same thing for the cloud um, management and automation. If you will click here, you're gonna see uh, BMR certified professional cloud management and automation, BMR cloud 2024. So a lot of certification like BMR has a lot of certification and also end user computing um, desktop management, which is uh, BDI. And security, like there is a special security uh, like uh, certification, BMR certified technical associate security and BMR certified professional endpoint and workload uh, security. So all these are certification, but out of all those, you just need to do this one, BMR certified professional data center virtualization. This is this, this one should be your first BMR certification. So how you can take it? So I, I just opened another tab, right? Let me remove everything. Okay. And if you go here, like on this link, and data center virtualization 2024 V2, right? And data center virtualization certification path, so you're going to start from here. You're not going to take any, any uh, association. Okay, like associate certificate. So certification path, if you hold no BCP certification, if you don't have, so if you don't have any certification in, in, in your entire life, like for like any kind of BCP certification, in that case, you should follow this. And the certification path, if you hold a BCP, BCP, if you hold the BCP, then you can, you should follow this. Certification for if you hold a BCP DCP 2022 or older, if you have some sort of BMR personal certification, like you like you have it from 2020 or maybe older, that in that case you should follow this one, these three steps. 
And this is this is what is explained. But maybe most probably, if this is the first time BMR certification, like for you, if you if it is the for like first time for your case, in that case, um, and just follow this step, like these three steps, recommended gain experience with BSPR seven and BSPR eight, and I believe all of you guys have already this right. So that's why you're you are thinking to have a um, another certification. So this is the recommended, it's not required. And then the second step is recommended attend one of the training course they're recommending. Before it was mandatory, required, but right now it's not required. Only required is pass the qualifying exam. You have to pass the exam. So pass the exam, BMR BSPR 8X professional, BMR BSPR 8X professional, 2V0, 21, 23. This is the code. 2V0-2123 is the exam code. And total on, in the exam, there will be total 135 questions, uh, sorry, 135 minutes, and you have uh, there will be total 70 questions. And the exam fees is $250. So schedule exam. If you click on schedule exam, it will load and it will take you to the Broadcom side. So if you have a Broadcom account, then in, you can log into uh, log in there. You have to have a account with Broadcom. If if you don't have the account with the Broadcom, then you have to sign up so the portal register you can register with them and that's how you can have your own account but it's this is mandatory if you want to like give a, a certification exam you have to have an account with broadcom otherwise you cannot so this is the requirement uh, so i have account already and i already logged in so then if when i click schedule i already logged in another page so if i click here schedule exam it will take me to the another portal where you can schedule the exam. So you see here, now the dashboard is changed. It's called uh, certmatrix.com, a cp.certmatrix.com. So you have to remember this site. You have to remember this site. So I'll put it on the description uh, box. Uh, just give one second. For checking your certification or, or for the exam. And so if you want to schedule exam, you can go here and also uh, view your exam history if you have any history and track your certification status. So after you pass the exam, if you ask me uh, how I can check my certification. So this is the URL for that. Login with your, uh, like, um, the login with your credentials, like, which is whenever you have a, whenever you register with the Broadcom, that means you will have a login, right? So login with your uh, credential. In, in this URL, so then you can check your, uh, or you can track your uh, certification. So if I click here, it's gonna show me my all certifications. So I have so far 15 certification from BMR. So all the certification is there. So it's, in, and if you want to schedule the exam, like you can click here, then as a sort to view processing, please wait, wait. okay. And then schedule an exam, exam catalog, view exam, view exam, okay. Find the exam, okay. Oh, sorry, not this one. I have this one already. So you can just copy the, that's why I opened this one. This is the exam code, right? Exactly, you have to put the exam code. You know, sorry, where eight professional? This one, the first one. And how do you want to take your exam? In person at test center or on on view online with the on view or, or I have a private access code. So three way you can attend the um three way you can attend the exam. But if you take this one or like online. Um, you can do it from from your um, like uh, from your home, but the thing is, you have to uh, show them your like your room where you're gonna sit, and also you, what you have on the front, and everything you have to show them. And also, you cannot move like even though like this, you cannot do that because they're gonna alert you. So it's up to you if you want. You can take an online exam like from from home, or maybe you can go to center. So center is easy. Just go there and register with them. Or if you can ahead of time schedule, then it's also, you can do that. So in person at test center, if you click here, 
then your photo ID, and then next, 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 then you're gonna select the your nearest center. All those things you have to do. That's it. And then, um, so the reason I open this one because before you give the exam, you have to prepare yourself, right? So I'll show you the way how you can pass 100%. So just copy this exam code. This is the BMR certified professional, the center virtualization, which is called DCB. And just copy the code and I'm going to open a, um, uh, like exam dance certification, like it's called examtopic.com and just type examtopic.com and then search and search with the exam code, you see? Now it shows BMR 2V0, 21, 23, BMR, BSphere 8X professional. Click here and then it will take you to the, ex exactly the exam uh, question here. Browse 109 question. So 109 question. So um, only 109 questions. So out of this, um, you're gonna get all the questions. So in, in the real exam, you have to answer 70 questions. So, and believe me, you're gonna get the exactly 100%. You're gonna get all these questions. So click here and then you see there is a question question set. So you can just study all those questions, like 109 questions. And but but for the but the result, there is a, some discussion board. You can you can click here and you can look at the, all the discussion. You see, there's a lot of discussion, like which one will be the best answer or some. So you can also read this. And if you don't have enough time, then just say uh, reveal the solution. And then it's gonna show you the correct answer and also the community board distribution answer. So some community board says its answer should be CE, some community board says DE, but DE says 64% and CE says 35%. And, and also the correct answer is D. Correct answer, this correct answer is doesn't matter. Don't follow this one. All the time just follow the community board distribution. So if you see the community board distribution is percentage higher, like DE is higher than this one, right? So this should be the answer. Same thing here, if you reveal it, then you're gonna see the correct answer is BCD and also the distribution um, uh, committee board is also B, uh, BCD. So that it means like this is the answer. And the same thing with question number three, do the reveal solution and then you're gonna see the correct answer shows C and the committee board also C 82%. So don't go with the correct answer, go with the community board, the highest percentage, right? So that's how we can read all those discussions. But the thing is, in this one, if you register with them or you don't register with them, you cannot. You can read like five questions and then you have to, um, you have to enter this code and then, uh, then you're gonna see another five questions. But at, in a certain time, you only you cross I think twenty questions and then it's gonna be blocked. So you have to purchase it. So this is the purchase price. But I'm not actually doing the marketing for them. Um, but I like this one because um, I passed through this one. I read their uh, drums and also it's like 100% common. So you can try it, but it's up to you. And so, yeah, this is how we can get the BMR professional certification. And I believe you get all of your answers. how, and um, I think you, you, you don't have now any confusion. So, yep, yeah, this is, that's all. So thanks for watching my video. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And also, if you like this video and if you think this is um, like a helpful video, this one is a helpful video, then please give a big thumbs up and make some comment. Your comments encourage me a lot to make more videos for you guys. And thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. And maybe I'll see you guys in another video.